cut in a direction from the from your body and avoid cutting at angles immediately. Close the blade when finished and when not in use, only extend the blades as far as needed to cut through objects. Keep the blade sharp as a dull blade may pull, making it more likely to cause the blade to slip and potentially cut your fingers. Like what I got right here. What is so, that? Tell got me about cut. that. So I did not follow this rule that time. On accident, I was just cutting. And like I said, don't cut in angles. So I went like this. And then I cut myself right there. Ouch. I started gushing because it was open. So what would be the right way to cut this box? We're going to use this box up. Like this and take my hands away from the object. Like that's what I did last time. And then here. That's a duck. The nice thing about box cutters is that literally they cut so easily that you don't even need to like have to like push and puff and stuff. So to avoid cutting the carpet, it's a good idea to put it on something. Because if you put it on the carpet, you have to cut strings and then kids are going to like start to want to pull them up and then the teacher's going to tell them not to. So, yeah. so then what do you do? I just cut right here and then just, you want this panel, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like how you step aside. 